All right, what's up, everyone? You guys got the Barkage of the Hidden Gains Village. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys the obligatory end of 2022, beginning of 2023 channel update video. I'm going to be talking about where I've been and what my future plans for the channel are. But before we do that, I first of all want to thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers. The support that you guys have shown this year has been unreal. And the fact that we started this year at under 2,000 subscribers and now we're at over 5,000 and the year hasn't even ended yet is something that I think is really special and very motivating for me to to keep making videos. So once again, guys, thank you so much. And yes, that hitting 5,000 does mean that I will start the Road to One Arm Planche, but I will get into more on that a little bit later in the video. So where have I been, right? I haven't been completely off YouTube the past month and a half, but I've been mostly posting a lot of shorts and the amount of long form videos that I've been putting out has been a little bit lighter. I really don't have any excuse for that other than the fact that I really just needed a break. I needed to step away from it for a little bit. I mean, if you think about it right, when you're training and stuff and you feel like you've been going too hard, what do you do? You take a deload where you just train a little bit lighter than you normally would. Well, that is kind of exactly what I needed on YouTube. I just needed to, you know, I just needed a little bit of a break. I can't really explain much. I can't really explain it much other than that, but the motivation has been completely restored and I'm ready to start posting frequent videos again for you guys. Now, the thing with the shorts is YouTube is really trying to push the shorts and that's sort of the direction that YouTube is going. So my videos aren't all going to be shorts, obviously, but the shorts are not something that are going to go away. So it's going to be like, I'll be posting shorts, honestly, probably like every day and I'll probably keep it to maybe two to three longer videos per week of just, you know, whatever I would normally post stuff about. It's definitely something to look forward to. Now, as far as my own training has been going, that's also been going pretty well. In the winter, I always tend to get a little bit weaker, if that makes sense. Where I live, it gets pretty cold in the winter, and that's just not optimal for your joints and training. So I usually spend winters, as you guys know, I spent the last winter, I was injured and was kind of just focusing on just building up ba basic strength to come out and just make a lot of progress in the spring and summer. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing this year, just kind of taking it a little bit easier in the winter time. Of course, still training one-arm planche, which you guys will hear more about again. Uh, so I'll be, again, just training, kind of building strength. And then once the weather gets good again, spring and summer, that is when I will absolutely pop off again. But for now, we're taking it kind of easy with the training, not going to lie. Okay. Okay, and so now what everybody wants to hear about, which will be the next series, possibly even the next video I post on the channel, will be the Road to one Arm Planche vlog series. This was something that was promised when I hit 5,000 subscribers, I would train for one Arm Planche, and so that is exactly what happened. So we're going to get started with that. This is a completely new skill for me. I have never really trained any balance skills other than handstands, so this is going to be pretty interesting to learn. I plan on taking it fairly slow at first, and I don't expect to learn it very quickly. I think it's, I would honestly say maybe it'll take me four to six months, so you guys will have plenty of content for the vlog series. And one thing that I've been considering with this series is to make it more than just the training, so maybe show some stuff outside of what I'm doing. The first video will probably be just training, but I think as the series goes on, I think I might start trying to show more and more stuff outside because if you guys remember the Road to LA vlog series, that was just training. And I remember saying that I was disappointed in that series because the vision I had for that was I would be showcasing all like, you know, things that I'm doing maybe outside of training. Cause I think that's just pretty interesting and something that you guys can relate to more and just enjoy. Yeah, Road to Water Planche, I have sort of a routine and training plan for it that I'm going to follow. I'm of course still going to be keeping with my main skills that I'm training. So I'm thinking for now, since it's going to be like a little bit lighter with one arm planche, I was going to go, you know, maybe sort of after my main planche workout, I would work on that kind of stuff. So, but then of course, as I get better at one arm planche, then it'll of course become a higher priority. But right now, since I'm starting from like completely zero, it's going to be something we're just going to start slowly with, kind of take what we can get and then slowly build our way up there. In terms of other skill goals, uh, Supi Sat is still on my radar. It's just one thing that is really, really freaking hard. I have I actually have been doing quite a bit of just regular wide grip supinated front levers and just regular supinated grip uh, front lever pull-ups. So stuff like that will help me. But yeah, again, Supi Sat, again, another skill that's just gonna be kind of a slow process. And I probably won't even vlog that. That'll probably be something that you guys just see whenever I get it. As far as everything else goes, just wanna 
kind of just get better at the other skills that I already have. Of course, I'll still be training all of those. All right, yeah, but anyway, that's pretty much all I have for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, I do have channel memberships, so if you feel like you're struggling with your training and would like some extra help with that, I would definitely consider looking into the channel memberships. Of course, like the video if you did. Hit me with a nice subscribe to Jutsu, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.